Hi there everyone, in this video I'm going to review the Orange Pi 5. Many people are wondering if this is a good alternative to Raspberry Pi. Honestly, it depends on what you're looking for. So stick around and let me break it down for you. So, what is Orange Pi 5? Well, it's a single board computer very similar to Raspberry Pi. It's got an ARM-based chip, which is one of the most powerful chips today, named Rockchip RK3588S. It's an 8-core 64-bit processor with a CPU frequency up to 2.4 GHz, an integrated GPU designated ARM Mali G610. This is a major leap from the previous RK3399 chip. Its CPU is 4 times faster and its GPU 8 times faster. Orange Pi has got up to 32GB of RAM. This small computer supports video up to 8K. Imagine this tiny little computer playing your favorite movies in 8K. So, what else is an everyday use case for a device like this? It can be widely used as a uh, smart home hub, media center, NAS or network attached storage, tablets, uh, edge computing, artificial intelligence, cloud computing, intelligent security, or covering various IoT use cases. It has NVMe M2 slot, HDMI port, Gigabit LAN port, USB-C and USB 3.0 ports, SD card slot and 26-pin GPIO header and more. And what can you run on it? Basically, the most popular operating systems are already adopted to this device. You can try Android, Ubuntu, Debian, Armbian, its very own flavor of Android called Raspberry Pi OS, and I bet others will follow as the community grows around this great SBC. What operating systems do you run on your Orange Pi? Let me know in the comments. I know what I'll do with it. I'll add it to my Docker fleet in my home lab and migrate my Plex, my streaming server, to it so I can watch some high-res movies with it. Okay, are you ready to take a look at how this device runs both Ubuntu and Android? I'll show you how to install these OSs in another video. Android is a bit tricky, so check out my channel or look in the upper right corner of this video for a link. Now, Ubuntu is great for basic stuff like browsing, emailing or word processing. It's fast and it's user-friendly. But there is one caveat. Try watching a 4K video on YouTube. Whoa, it's really bad. Let me show you. It's bad, like really bad. You can't watch something like this. Look at the dropped frames, it's like half of them. So for the love of God, somebody, please, fix this. This is not an issue of just Orange Pi. Many, many devices made by the different companies suffer from this. Let's do the sysbench on this CPU and compare it to the well-known name in the industry, the Raspberry Pi 4. sudo apt install sysbench and sysbench cpu dash dash threads equals 8 run as Orange Pi has 8 cores. You can see CPU events per second are around 13,700. Raspberry Pi 4 got me somewhere around 7,000. So it's safe to say this chip is almost two times faster than Raspberry Pi 4. And since we are into this, let's check read speeds from this SD card. sudo app install hdparm and sudo hdparm-tt dev mmc blk1. So the results are here. Cached reads are somewhere close to 4000 and buffered disk reads are close to 65 megabytes per second. If you found my video helpful, why not show your appreciation by hitting the like and subscribe buttons. Every bit of support means the world to me. Thanks. Moving on to Android. Again, I'll show you how to install it in another video. This is a bit more complex if you want a fully functioning Google Play Store. The first start took something around 1 minute and 15 seconds to finish, which is quite good. Of course, to do anything remotely productive, you need to install Google Play and a few apps or games here and there. But let me show you the difference in performance on that YouTube 4K video. I wasn't able to bring up the stats for nerds, it didn't work for some reason, but I bet you can safely say that this is playing just fine. Look. Of course, if it wasn't for my slow dumbass Stone Age-like internet speed. Thanks O2, I hate you. O2 is something like Verizon in the US, but for the EU. Everybody hates them. Hashtag me too. 
If you're a mobile gamer, COD and PUBG are the perfect way to waste your time. Just make sure to connect your controller to your Orange Pi to have some fun. Enjoy! And the most fabulous thing at the end. I've got my 4GB version for only 65 bucks. Compared to today's prices of its competitors, it's just a fantastic computer for an excellent price. Ok, that's it. In the next video I'll show you step by step how you can install different operating systems on your Orange Pi 5. So stay tuned and see you!